as you know, the English language is very, very rich in idiomatic expressions. In fact, today it is very difficult to handle the English language without using one or the other idiom. What are idioms? Idioms are expressions of phrases or combinations of words which give us the figurative meaning or the non-literal meaning. When you see an idiom, you should not try to look at the individual words and their meanings. If you consider the meanings of individual words, you will never understand the real meaning of a particular idiom. For example, if a teacher goes to your class and tells his students, pull your socks up, he is not talking about the socks worn by the students. Oh, no student can get up and say, we are not wearing socks. What the teacher means to tell the students is that they should put in some extra efforts to get more marks in the exam. So, pull your socks up means put in extra efforts. It has nothing to do with socks. Today, let us look at some of such idioms. The first one, donkey's ears. If I say, I have been living in this city for donkey's ears, I am not talking about either a donkey or its ears. What I am trying to tell you is that I have been living in this city for a very, very long time. So the expression or the idiom donkey's ears means a long period of time, a long time. There has nothing to do with a donkey or its ears. Now the second idiom, I feel under the weather. When I say I feel under the weather, I am not talking about the weather at present. What I am trying to convey is that I am not keeping quite well. Yesterday he was feeling under the weather means he was not feeling quite well or he was feeling a kind of discomfort. So be under the weather or feel under the weather actually means feel uncomfortable, feel ill or feel sick or feel a kind of discomfort. Now the next idiom, damn squib. Look at the sentence. The program turned out to be a damn squib. What does it actually mean? The program turned out to be highly disappointing. We had lots of expectations from the event of the program, but it ended in a fiasco. It turned out to be highly, highly disappointing. Then we would say the program was a damn squib. Dam squib literally means a wet firecracker. When a firecracker doesn't burst, it turns out to be highly disappointing. So the program turned out to be a dam squib means the program failed to impress anybody. Now the next one, it's raining cats and dogs. When someone says, oh look, it's raining cats and dogs, he's not talking about the animals, cats and dogs. Instead, he's talking about, he's referring to a very, very heavy rain or a downpour. When we say it's raining cats and dogs, we actually mean to say that unexpectedly, contrary to our expectations, it's raining very, very heavily this month. Suppose you get a very heavy rain during the monsoon, you won't say it's raining cats and dogs. When you don't expect the rain to come, when you don't expect the rain to lash your place, if it rains suddenly, that too very heavily, then you would say, oh look, it's raining cats and dogs. So the idiom, it's raining cats and dogs, just means it is raining very, very heavily. The next idiom, butter someone up. If I tell you, look, he is trying to butter him up, what I mean to say is that he is trying to flatter someone in order to gain some favor from him or her. When I say don't butter him up, I am not saying that you should not try to apply butter on him. That is not the meaning. I am trying to say that he is trying to please him or he is trying to flatter him so that he may get some favor from him. So to sum up, pull your socks up means put in extra efforts. Donkey's ears means for a long time, for a long period of time. 
be under the weather means feel uncomfortable or feel ill. Damp squib means something that is highly disappointing. It's raining cats and dogs means it's raining very heavily. Unusually, it's raining very heavily. And butter someone up means please somebody, flatter somebody or praise somebody insincerely so that we may get some favor from him or her. So when you see an idiom, don't try to look at the individual words and their meanings. If you do that, you will never get the actual meaning of any idiom.